The true original, a woman who has built a brand and a company from scratch. That company, Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia, reflects her very high, some might say impossibly high, standards. And while it launched with a flourish, the company stumbled badly in the wake of her high-profile legal problems a few years ago. Some people might have crumbled, but not Stewart, who's determined that the company bearing her name will triumph. She is passionate, optimistic, and outspoken about even the most personal of topics. See, as you put your arms down, see what happens? Yeah, what you happens? Go even more vertical. See? Oh, 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 don't go too far. Uh, well, why not? It's a little after 8 in the morning at Martha Stewart's farm in Bedford, New York. And while it may look to you as if she's relaxing... 30. One. She's actually getting in fighting form. <laughs> so what happens if you're sick? Do you, then you'd I'm, stay I'm in I'm never bed. sick. You're never sick? I try never to be sick. Why get sick? It's a waste of time. At 68 years old, she seems to have only one speed, fast forward, and sleeps only three or four hours a night. She rises before her roosters. <coughs> Stewart has given us unprecedented access to her daily life and her business empire, Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. Even the trip to the office is used for work, all the while balancing a china teacup. Good balance is certainly important these days. This is my very favorite. Her company is poised at a critical moment. Business analysts say the next eight months are crucial to the company's long-term success. So fair to say this is a pivotal moment? Uh, fair to say that this is our growth period. That's what's fair to say. We are growing. We are, uh, I think, um, going to um, do very, very well. And that is more than a wish. It is a necessity. The company lost nearly $16 million last year and has posted a $35 million loss so far this year. Your reference to the audience, they're all Brooklynites. If this is the make or break moment, Stewart is approaching it. 10 seconds back. With a flourish. There is the daily television show, now in its fifth season. Well, thanks for coming out. And the books, 69 in all. The latest, Dinner at Home, hit the bestsellers list the first week it was out. She signed 600 books this day in Philadelphia. There are also, of course, the magazines. This is one of my favorite patterns. And most important to the bottom line, the stuff. Are these beautiful? Everything from dog dishes to glitter kits. There we have a very nice portrait of Jay. This oh, that's is, a lovely picture this of me. She says after teaching Jay Leno to paint with glitter, she sold three million jars of the stuff. Crafts is a $32 billion business in America. There is no one standout brand in crafting. We're aiming to be that brand with this amazing assortment of fantastic crafts. And we're getting there. This is Francesca, the dark one. Yeah. And that is Shark. Oh, we begin the day at her working farm. Ralph Lauren is her next door neighbor. How many acres do you have? 150 something. The residents include horses, geese, and lots of chickens. That, by the way, is the barn. What do you want, an apple? We pay a visit to her five Frisian draft horses. When I saw these horses, they gave me a color scheme. Now, is it true, though, yes. that they turn red if they're out in the sun too? Yeah, much? definitely. They bleach out. Look at, his, look at the ends of his mane. See, so, that's from sun. Not from a bad dye job. No, 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 no. As a result, the horses are kept out of the sun. On hot, bright days, every detail matters. People are driving off the edges of the road again. So, don't do it. She doesn't say, or else, but she doesn't need to. She meets regularly with the farm staff of 12 to make sure everything is done the right way, the Martha Stewart way. Every little tree on the property, you must stake and tie. And you all know how to tie. You go around, say, this is the tree. You go around with the string this way, cross it, then go around the stake twice and tie on the stake. Remember, there are 150 acres, and that's a lot of trees. We make a brief stop for breakfast. Well, it's a warm kitchen. You know, it's a nice kitchen. It's, um, it works very, very well. Most everything seems to be grist for the mill. 
She says she makes no effort to separate the brand from herself. There. Wow, so there's not just a little piece that's still yours that everybody else doesn't get? Oh, there are pieces, but they're also concealed at work and they're concealed at home. Does that make you feel better? Her life certainly provides plenty of material. Even her dogs have a blog, The Daily Wag. I want to Twitter. Can I Twitter that Nightlife's here? Sure. Not? Why not? Stewart is actively looking for new ways to engage her audience. Do you like this Twitter thing? Uh, oh, my God. You look how many followers I have. 1,657,000. Show off. <laughs> the recession has slammed the company that bears her name, the second daunting obstacle she's faced in the past five years. You may have heard of the first. Today is a shameful day. It's shameful for me and for my family and for my beloved company. In 2004, she was sentenced to a five-month stint in federal prison for lying to investigators about a well-timed stock sale. She was adamant it would not destroy her. And I'll be back. I will be back. But during what she refers to as her legal mess, the company's losses were enormous topping $59 million in 2004 and a whopping $75 million the next year. Did you ever think there was a danger that the company would go under? Not really, because I'm an optimist. <laughs> and, uh, and I am an optimist. I, I knew we had a really good thing going, and I really knew that I was not guilty of anything that could possibly harm my company. But you had to have been scared. I mean, you'd worked so hard to create it. Well, I was pissed, okay? Pissed that something could actually affect that. The company had nothing to do with anything. But yet, because I am the face and the brand, my person, uh, it certainly had a, a harmful effect. How much money? Did I lose? Oh, it's inestimable, actually. Personally, oh, I'm sure. $500 million? No, probably more than a billion dollars, of course. So More than a billion yes, dollars? Yes, and, and if you add in what the company was worth, uh, absolutely. And I'm a major shareholder in the company. Stewart says the Securities and Exchange Commission should have been investigating Bernie Madoff instead of her. So come on, do you kick yourself just a little bit? How can I kick myself? There are other people to be kicked. <laughs> Enough. Let's get on with the, with the future.